Okay. So do you have a link for that or we send it uh, to you by your email? Pardon? Do you have the link for that? The link for, for which one? <laughs> to submit the documents. The link of, have you gotten the offer letter? If you have gotten, please check your email. So we send it to your email? No, not, not sending to my email. Please check the guide I provided in the email I sent to those who have received the offer letter. If you have not received your offer letter, please wait for our email. Yeah, I, I already received it. Okay, then please read the documents in the email. Okay, thank you. Thank you so yeah. much. Yeah, that's all. Okay. Any questions? Before we end, if no, no yeah. Okay. Can I have a question? Like, uh, yeah. I received my offer letter as well, but mm. uh, when I go to the Maya portal to do the application, mm. the appro approved modules are empty. Is that normal or? Is yeah, it is normal. It is normal. Yeah. Okay, thank because you. Because uh, only only certain uh, certain students will have to approve modules based on the institution's requirement. Yeah. So for your case, you can actually. Uh, shortlist uh, um, the modules again later on like i mentioned the timetable for each module will be shared once you register as a student and you can log into the portal and look for the timetable and plan for your final timetable and register the courses during the module registration period okay thank you yeah any other questions at our home university, are we allowed to take time off for one semester with the aim not paying tuition fee at our home university in the next October? Uh, Ahmad, uh, you need to check with your university in terms of the tuition fee waiver and how's the arrangements for you to go for the outgoing program. Yeah. Uh, any questions? Just now someone wants to talk. The welcoming party will be held. Yes, there, there will be a welcoming sessions where we have all the students gather around. That's why I will share the arrival schedule together with all the registration period. The activity will be going on for the three weeks of orientations. Okay, any other further questions you would like to ask? Yes. Mm -hmm. What happens? Uh when your home university is not listed at the visa website and then you send an email, you didn't get it listed and you also want to proceed with the visa. Do you have it, to wait until it's listed? Yes, you have to wait until it is listed. If not later on, if let's say the documents, your confirmation letter and the selections that you put into the system is not matching, then you have to start off the whole application again. So okay. yeah, so do not just simply just want to proceed and then you just simply choose any of the university. You'll be in trouble, okay? If let's say yeah. uh, by, if let's say after you send the email, after a week, the, the, there's no response from the email, just let me know, okay? Okay. I will try to follow up for you. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. I'd like to go to Malaysia from August to do some volunteer. Can I do that? Okay, so if you want to come to Malaysia in August, I would say not advisable to do so because, you, because you're applying for a single entry visa. Single entry visa meaning enter for once and then the pass will be expired and then you have to reapply again. So I would not recommend that, okay? Unless you gotten your, you have gotten your uh, eval and also earlier eval earlier, then you enter Malaysia slightly earlier to do the do the volunteer than if possible. But it's still once you enter, as I mentioned, everyone will be granted granted a thirty days of durations for you to complete the student pass process. So do not enter too early, and do not enter Malaysia too late. Okay, one. 
for those of you who's, who have sent me an email, you might need to expect slow response because there's too many email coming in and you might not be, ex uh, if you want to be answered quickly, then you can send in the message in the Telegram group or you can private through the Telegram message as well. And also like if you have asked me questions on the, the questions that you asked in the, in the briefing today, I will not be answering, okay? Because the school need to convert to credit probably when will the final result. Okay, final result will normally be issued uh, at least a month after the exam finish. Because after your exam finish, the lecturer will start marking your exam and key in the, the, the marks on the system. And after that, we'll announce the examination result. After that, there will be a week of uh, re-examination in case any students would like to re-examine their paper. Then after the, a week after that, after the result is released, then we'll issue the final exam, uh, the official transcript and also certificate of completions to the, to the students and also copy to your university. Am I able to cancel the applications in the EMGS portal? May I know why you need to cancel the application? You are not allowed, uh, cancelling the applications will take a long time. And that's why I would say do not make any mistake during the applications. Because one passport number can only apply for once at the time. Okay. If you have an active applications, you will not be able to submit for another applications. Please make sure you key in your information correctly. If you make any mistake and it track for two, three months, that will be on your own responsibility. The university will not be taking care of that. Wakana, as I mentioned once again, the arrival schedule will be shared. So I will not be answering your questions. Is it possible to visit neighboring country after the semester before flying back to, to home country? Yes, you are allowed to, to visit the neighboring countries as long as you have not canceled the visa. Because the student pass is a multiple entry visa. But once you submitted for pass cancellations, you will not be able to traveling to your neighboring country. Can we fly to another country during the semester? Yes, you can fly to other countries during the semester after you gotten your student pass. After you gotten your student pass. Before you got you, you get your student pass, do not travel to any countries. Stay in Malaysia. Not even the east of Malaysia. Just stay in the, the city where the, the university is located. Because after you come in and you straight away go to Thailand, then that's all for you. You have to go back to France. Okay, Pauline, is, is it clear for that? This is this is very straight on the immigration is very yes, straight yes, on this. Yes, of course, yes. Yeah, after I got yeah. my student pass, I will be allowed yeah, to fly. Yeah. yeah, because we do have students after they came in, they are very excited to travel within Southeast Asia. So they just travel to another country before they submitting their passport for uh, visa uh, the student pass endorsement then end up they have to go back to France and reapply the single entry visa. Okay, I'm from Uzbekistan, but currently I'm in Germany. Can we get a Malaysian visa in Germany? Uh, this one you need to follow. I already mentioned in the visa guideline, you can refer to that. If you are a citizen from who are not in your home country, then there is a specific uh, specific options you need to uh, you need to look for when you're selecting the single entry visa i uploaded a wrong documents in the portal you may i know what documents you uploaded wrongly 
Have you submitted the applications? Hi. Jonah? Yeah, have you I, submitted? Yeah. Yeah, I have uh, submitted the application. I uploaded the wrong uh, health check uh, document. So the application status is pending right now. Uh, it's it's not accepted. So should I send the, another application and waiting for you the are not application to be cancelled? or you, you are not able to send another application. Mm -hmm, okay. Because the system only allowed one passport, one application at a time. So uh, you can send me an email on that. And okay. then informing on the documents that you uploaded wrongly and attached together with the correct documents. So I can check with my colleague at the visa office to see what we can do. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and but, I, it, but, it, but it might take a, a bit of time for the amendment process. Because it, it involves multiple departments in terms of changing the documents and requesting for a change at the EMGS portal. Okay. But I, I haven't paid yet, so maybe it is still pos possible to send another application? Uh, as long as you have clicked on the submit button, the system mm -hmm. already captured your application. So that one, we need the, the administrators to do some changes on the, on the documents. So you just send me an email after this, okay? Okay. Uh, I think you should have my email, right? Do you have my email? Yes, I do. Okay, yeah. Okay, what else? I'm not sure about the picture we have uploaded to UM website within the first step. Uh, the requirements on the picture. For the ones you uploaded on the UM portal, don't worry. Okay, do not worry on the, the photos you uploaded to the to the UN portal. The most important thing is the one you uploaded to EMGS portal. Uh, okay, I was the one who asked that question just. So the picture on UM on the UM portal doesn't really matter. That's just printed on our student ID card, but that yeah, doesn't have to satisfy any requirements. Should just show our face kind of green yeah. background whatsoever. No yeah, specific correct. requirement. Yeah, no specific okay. requirement. As long okay. as it's clear, it shows it's your face, it's not an okay. animal face or cartoon face, then it should be fine. Okay, okay, thank you. Yeah, but the one for the EMGS must be fo follow the okay. guideline. Okay, okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, thank you. Okay, when I accepted of letter, I attached a passport with a white background in the UM website. Okay, I think I answered this question already. So the one you uploaded on the UM portal doesn't matter. As long as the one you uploaded in on the EMGS portal is correct, then it's correct. Okay. Julie, do you get my answer? Julie? Yes. Okay. Okay, if we have for uh China students, I will create a WeChat group later on temporarily before your arrival but once you arrive in um you need to install the telegram and also you need to you, you need to join the telegram group because the information will only be shared through one channel okay i think i answer most of the questions on the chat any further questions before we close the session today? Any questions? I just give one more minute for everyone. Just think of your final questions. Because if you want to wait for my email response, it might be very slow because I am focusing on issuing another few hundred of, of letters. So please ask your question now. Hello, sir. Yeah. So there is a confirmation letter. The confirmation letter should be the one that our university gives to us, right? Yeah, correct. If yeah, uh, and if you want to uh, really know which confirmation letter you should upload, you can. If you you are the have you gotten the offer letter? 
Yes, I have. Yes. Okay, if you gotten the offer letter, you go to the offer letter uh, issuer notification letter I showed earlier, the one with mm -hmm. the EMGS details. You scroll yes. at the last page, there's a hyperlink. There's a link yeah. on the confirmation. You need to copy that's the whole link and then that is the letter you should be uploading. Uh, that's the thing, sir. I, I clicked on the link. Do not How click on the link. Do not click on the link. Copy the link manually. Oh, okay. okay, okay, okay. Copy the whole right. link and then put it, put in the browser. And oh, then, okay. yeah, you should be getting the correct documents. All right, all right. Thank yeah. you. And and just, just double check again the name and your passport. If there's any passport number stated in the, of let, uh, the confirmation letter, must make sure it, it is according to your passport, okay? The MRZ okay. format. Mm. Okay, okay. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, any other questions? Just to emphasize again, please check all the documents. Please read all the documents from page one until the last page. Do not skip any part, okay? It is all important information for you. Uh, sorry, hello. Uh, yeah. I've got a question mm. about the health declaration when we apply for the um, Education Malaysia or for the student visa. Um, what exactly is health declaration? Uh, I mean, uh, where do we get it? Like in our, uh, in the hospital, in our uh, have country? You, or... Have you gotten the offer letter? Yes. Okay, have you read the information on the, all the documents? Especially uh, the quick guide? Yes, I, I guess, then yes. Then I think you have not read the requirement, uh, you have not read the quick guide because it's already mentioned in the quick guide. Please, uh, check really? on the, oh. please check on the quick guide. There's a page on health declarations. It's a self-declaration. You do not need to go to the hospital. It's based on your previous medical history. If you, if you have any disease, Listed in the health declaration form, you just declare. It's a self-declare. Because later on, when you arrive in Malaysia, there's a post-arrival medical screening. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. You can get the form in the in the quick guide as well. And also in the appendix. If I apply for visa now, it's the view the visa will the visa expired at the time specific for this for the study of six months as i mentioned the application for the visa to process is about two to three months by the time you gotten your visa approved it's already mid-august okay and the study duration the visa durations the visa process before arriving in malaysia uh, before arriving to malaysia is only 70 percent Another 30% of the visa process will only be completed upon your arrival. Okay. So your, your, your student visa will only valid after the student pass is completed. After your student pass is completed. How about staying in Malaysia after the study if and Okay, this one, I will not uh, advise anything because the durations of the student pass is determined by the immigration. Okay, any other questions? I have one more short question. Is it possible to, after our whole stay in Malaysia, just exit Malaysia and then enter right again and, for example, do an internship? Mm. Like, um, I could, like, I mean, is it like a, then a whole new process or is it this somehow stored in the database and I'm only allowed to get one visa for Malaysia within a year. So my yeah. question is essentially, mm. I would, as for ex uh, maybe it's not a good idea, but for example, I would fly back to Germany after my stay in Malaysia and then immediately book a return flight and come back to Malaysia to do an internship in, Mal in Malaysia. Would that theoretically be possible? Okay, so in your case, because we do have students who like to do that, but the, the, the standard process is the, after the six months of exchange in Malaysia, and then if you intend to come back to Malaysia for an internship, the first step you need to do is to cancel the current student visa and mm -hmm. going back to, uh, let's say going back to Germany and uh -huh. then reapply the visa again. 
Okay, okay, yeah. but I so I, I would have to go back to Germany before starting right. the internship. I can't stay in Malaysia just continue. Unless, okay. Yeah. Unless do you have plan to do that? No, I'm I'm just I'm just I'm just exploring the, option. the options now. Right. Okay. So. Yeah, if you really have plan to do that, please let me know so I can advise you how to do it. Because we do because, yeah, we, we yeah, do have I Australia. Like yeah. I yeah, we, like we, we, we do have Australia students where they need to have because they are under the scholar the, the new global plan scholar, scholarship so they need to complete uh, 18 months of uh, 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 practical semester and also internship so we do advise them to apply together so internship and also the coursework program together so the offer letter will be issued totally for 12 months which means you'll be getting a 12 months visa and the first semester is a uh, study class, uh, study some classes for 14 weeks. Okay. After that, you can continue straight for the internship or research. Okay. Yeah. But the internship, okay. the, the internship I mentioned here, uh, are you referring to the internship in the university or no, uh, internship no. in the industry? Just industry. Internship. Industry. Okay, if you want to attach in the industry and under the channel through university, then we need to be cost supervised with your university. Meaning there will be a, a cost supervisor from, from UM together with the supervisor from your university to, mm -hmm. for, for, for your internship purpose in order for us to issue a letter for the okay. coursework and also internship. If you apply okay. directly, like let's say if you apply for internship, the industrial internship, then that will be on your own process. You will not fall under the student mobility. Okay, and then I would have to go all the way back to Germany and then come back yeah. to Malaysia once I'm and okay. yeah, and it and it's a different visa process. There will okay. be for under an employment visa. Ah, okay, and so this, yeah. this thing with an internship, it's at least not, not easy, not super straightforward to stay in Malaysia and do an internship, but it's a difficult process with a lot of administrative effort yeah. involved. Yeah, correct. Okay. Unless, okay. unless the internship is, is through the university, then no. it, it falls under the student mobility pass, then okay. it's easy for you to, to apply okay. for the visa. Yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. thank you. Hmm. Okay, is there any compulsory vaccine except COVID in Japan? As I mentioned, only two vaccinations I mentioned, yellow fever vaccinations and also COVID vaccine. The rest is not mandatory by the immigration. Okay, Kazuto? Kazuto? Yeah, okay, thank yeah. you. Yeah, okay. So, any further questions before we end? If if everyone just another one minute thought. Okay, so if there's no, I think thank you everyone for joining the pre-program briefing today. If you have any further questions, you can always uh, send a chat, an immediate chat in the Telegram group so that I can answer if there's any uh, available slot, time slot. For those who send me an email, uh, I will try my best to reply your email as soon as possible but do expect a slow response from my side as I am now focusing on issuing the offer letter for the other applicants. But if you do not receive my email, don't worry because all the information about the arrival schedules, arrival, the, about the housing options, housing applications,
visa vaccine is all will be shared later on by stages okay by stages do expect uh, a few few emails before your arrival and also we do have a airport pickup service so i will also mention a little bit on the airport pickup service applications we only have a several schedule for the airport pickup so just read in read the information in the email later okay thank you have a nice day everyone bye bye thank you thank you mr ho yeah, thank you you're welcome thank you sir see you yeah no worries thank you